Hello and welcome to the skating lesson. I am Dave Lees. I'm Jonathan Byer, and our my little nephew Christopher who's keeping the spotlight on figure skating. <laughs> okay. Well, this is a skating lesson. We are going to discuss everything that's been happening this weekend. Bye, Dave. Isn't it nice to see Dave is such a good uncle? It's the sweetest. Okay. So I'm so excited. There's been so much happening. Jonathan, it's been, I haven't been able to talk to you about Skate America because I know. I'm our reality star president, Jonathan, <laughs> filming something. So please let you know that all of the coordination going on. So if you are new here, please subscribe below and smash that like button for the kind of effort that's going on, okay? Jonathan could be having fun on that sectional couch right now, but he is here. That's we not my sectional couch, <laughs> just so you know. I would have picked a totally different fabric. <laughs> I gave everyone like a rundown on your dating life history um, on See Alive this weekend the soiree you had for the holidays. Please, but it was a nice soiree, wasn't it? Very nice soiree. Was a lot of fun. Very nice yeah. soiree, Jonathan. The guy that dressed Melania was there. I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. A lot happened. Okay, mm -hmm. I discussed mm -hmm. it all on See Alive, on Patreon. We, we, you know, next weekend is not as busy, so I think we may be judging some events. But anyway, lots to discuss, Jonathan. I feel no, like- so feel many like things Debbie going on. I feel like Debbie Roman Lewis at the Hillsdale Library. Like, let me- um, <laughs> Let me show you some adult fiction books that you should be reading. You know, she picks everyone's books out. Tells them yeah, you know, those control issues. I see, I see. <laughs> this is my Lisa Rinna sweater. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Got advertised up from the Nordstrom, you know, on Facebook. And I was like, this. And because of you, Dave, I know who that is. Lisa, yes. She sells dusters on QVC. Yes. <laughs> She's, she would be into figure skating. She would get exactly what's happening in the competition. Yeah, like dusters would be good for the arena. You know what I mean? That's oh. a nice, it's a nice solution. Yes, this is not an actual Lisa Rinna, but it's inspired. Oh. I don't, I just have men cry. Harry Hamlin should get on that. But anyway, okay. there's so many events. There's so much happening. We'll get to Russia too, um, but. Russia was my favorite, by the way. <laughs> Lori Parker was my favorite of the weekend, Jonathan. Jonathan, we need to break it down. Because Let's go with it. You want to start Paris? You want to start Paris in the Lori Parker saga of 2020? She was on several panels here. Oh, yes. But Because so I, I was asking. I said, Anne, do you think the judges can drink together at the competition? Because that is where Lori's best work happens. She loves a hospitality suite. She loves a hotel lounge bar. It's like, you know, she's very social. She's okay. very outgoing and she just collects information and she's so friendly. Okay. She's to like, get what she needs. Yeah, oh, the info. Uh, it's like an element. Yeah. You know, it okay. just comes to her. Okay. What I love is that Lori's very senior. So the rumor is that the US judge at the Olympics will be Wendy Ensman. Okay. I don't even know if that's like official rumor or whatever, but that's like, that's what the people are saying, right? Okay. Maybe it's been published somewhere. They're like, you idiot, it was already on US. Okay. <laughs> I don't read the USFS website when I don't have to, anyway. It's true, but you could get a cutout. <laughs> I chose not to. Yeah. Yeah, I, you know what I thought? Like it was- I didn't want to make Gracie feel like she had clinical depression again. That's what she said. I didn't want to know where that cutout was going afterwards because most definitely my face would have been defaced by someone in that arena. <laughs> Ashley Kane, she may have some feelings after Lord. Exactly, Bonner. exactly. You know, Ashley Kane said that we tall shamed her because I think the judges may have tall shamed Ashley Kane this weekend. They sent her a big message. So yeah, I'm six foot five and always looking to root for a tall person. So right. Yes. Don't you put very... that on on your height. Don't you put I, that. I was I was rooting for you. We were rooting for you. How dare <laughs> you learn something from this, Ashley Kane? Another you reference I now understand. You take responsibility for yourself. No one can take responsibility for you. Anyway, okay. So I was thinking how perfect it is that like the West Coast Great Park Ice Arena is very in favor this season. Cause you know, we have the Skating Club of Boston and we will get to them. We have Colorado, you know, the house of safe sport horrors. Right. And then allegedly, <laughs> allegedly something may be happening this week. Maybe the USFS and safe sport are gonna make some announcements this coming week. That's what people are saying, you know. 
those encrypted Cancel emails. Skate Canada instead give us some shocking news. Why does right? everyone from Colorado send me anonymous emails from Proton Mail? Either they know each other or they are like very into sending some stuff they don't trust people. Then on the West, I never heard of Proton Mail before this. I was like, oh. Neutron Mail only, yeah. <laughs> Electron, yes. Um, and then we have the Great Park Ice Arena on the West Coast. Okay, so Jenny and Todd were always the USFS favorite. I mean, ask Kyoko Ina, right? Her face, 96 Nationals, honey. Jenny and Todd. Tell you everything you need to know, yeah. All the wedding fluff pieces on ABC. How many spots did they get in the USFS calendar from 1996, 1997, uh, right? So how perfect is it that Mitch Moyer's alleged favorite, Alexa Semeca Kinnearum, is training with them? And you know, I like Alexa, but I don't think I get a Christmas card from Alexa. I want like the Christmas card that she handwrites to the judges. It cannot be just like the standard one with the print in. I'm sorry, that's just smart. That is just, she is so just playing a game. He went to her wedding and I wanna know if Lori was there. I wanna know which judges were at the wedding, not the skaters, who cares? That's not what's- right. Doing. Like, That's the least exciting. Yeah, I want to know how it's being networked at every point. Alexa has a good social game, and I'm not hating. I respect it, okay? Mm -hmm. You think she likes all of these people? I don't know. I don't, but I bet they get the Christmas card with the dogs, with Chris, <laughs> in, like, the nice Nordstrom sweater. Mm -hmm. Color-coordinated. Family shot, maybe sitting on the beach, near, like, remind them they're with Jenny and Todd. Maybe a happy holidays because Troy Goldstein might be Jewish, so maybe not Merry Christmas, right? Okay, I think, yeah. right? I think then because he's Skating Club of New York, that's why you know they did skate at the Mid Atlantic Skating Club of New York competition that we watched. Yep, Lori Parker was there if you remember. I Saw do. <laughs> hospitality sweet glass, nice glass of wine. Looked like a very elegant event. <laughs> I think a Lori Parker gets a handwritten. So she is. Remember, she is from Heritage. Okay. Her mother was a judge. Her grandmother was a judge. She was maybe not the most talented skater, but took from Carlo and John Nix, as she told me. We've been on airplanes together. <laughs> so Lori is known, if you're gonna have travel problems, you get Lorried. That is the uh, okay. vernacular. Now she is a very interesting power broker. She's so likable that if you're not a Fanyu, domestically, Lori could definitely vote Ross Minor off the Olympic team while being able to congratulate him on such a great performance. Mm -hmm. She would face like same, she is so skilled, like same breath, right? Her uncle, Hugh Graham, Olympic judge on the Paul Wiley's panel. Hugh Graham, um, father of Dana Graham, um, the former pair partner of Paul Wiley. Dana Graham, the technical caller here. Um, the assistant caller, Scott Wenland. Um, the former partner of Jenny Mino, former best friend of Todd Sand, also a West Coast coach. And you know, Jonathan, they really liked, um, the, they really enjoyed the, the Jenny and Todd teams here. I think um, Ashley Kane and Johnny Weir had some words about it. Now, what I really enjoyed is like, did Scott Wendland and Jenny Mino and Todd Sand, how did they mend fences? Because Jenny Mino, remember, wanted a, a boy that she could look at like she enjoyed, like with affectionate feelings. So mid Albertville Olympics, she was already strategizing for a better partner. To me, it makes her a legend. Kyoko Ina might feel differently. I don't know if, but how much do you think that Kyoko, so Kyoko Ina, Jenny Mino and Todd Sand, main rival is Mitch's assistant and she works on the pairs in particular. Now Kyoko was always upset that, and people like Jenny Mino and Todd Sand, by the way, their game is genuine. People like her. Jenny Mino is funny. She's got a good sense of humor. She has a nice natural red hair color. Kyoko Ina, you know, I've never heard anyone accuse her of being nice, Jonathan. That is I, never- I, I agree. I agree with you on that, yeah. Not in Muncie, not on the Stars on Ice tour, not on Champions, not nice to her. People will be like, oh, I, I skated with her as a kid. I said, hi, she said she didn't talk to her competitors. You know, that kind of a thing, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She's, even John Zimmerman has let out his cracks in a couple of interviews, you know? I remember those fluff pieces. I remember Susie mm -hmm. Wynn telling us when they went to lunch together. Now they're gonna- <laughs> Now they're connected. And Hamilton politely told us, oh, Kyoko Ina, she's looking at Jason, she's happy. She's a strong girl, right? They let us know. Yeah. So how much she has to probably kiss the behind of Jenny and Todd right now. 
They don't have Delilah. She's not in the fold anymore. They have to no. just push everyone. It's funny how quickly these shifts happen and how dominant they can it become really so quickly. Itself, right? Yeah, exactly. Were there more USFS judges at the Alexa and Chris wedding, which Delilah officiated? Such a religious woman. <laughs> or the Jenny and Todd. Which one had a better USFS political game? But the fact that they're together, that is like a marriage from God. You know what I'm mm, mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, and I have to say, like with both of the top two teams then being from there, it had this old school Americana quality. So sometimes, yeah. like people have asked me to clarify when I say, I don't know if um, Brian and Jessica will do as well with international judges. It's because I say that because this is so an American late 90s aesthetic, which I enjoy because that's when I was really engrossed in skating the most. When, when Bill I first and Hill were in the White House, that's when you felt most at home. Exactly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> This is this harkens back to that era, um, and I think that it it creates a lot of lovely nostalgia for North American fans and judges. I don't know if Kyoko Ina slash the rest of the world <laughs> will view it the same. I hope they do. There's some really lovely things to to see that come back. So, no, Jonathan Bayer, mm -hmm. you very smart boy, opera singer, you. Oakland, you know very. Very smart to accomplish. Tell me, please. Alexa and Brandon, together, June. Count months for me, together. July, August, September, October. Skarjita Pajalosta, tell me, please. What components you expect, team, new team, very good elements, very good, I could not. Could not criticize elements, very good elements. Alexa, point to lift, you know, lift, point to, we talk, okay? Your blues match this season, very happy. Reds match, very happy, okay? You glow up, okay? Used to be with Trashy Delilah, now you with Jenny and Todd. Reds match beautifully, like, mm -hmm. you know. You, you heard it. <laughs> Alexa, you becoming West Coast liberal elite, I'm telling you, looking <laughs> like it, sorry. You went from like, South Park trash, like <laughs> in the beginning, original. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You are like, okay, you are going places. Maybe two months in the USFS calendar. Okay. So you, I used to have calendar. Yes. Michelle. Yeah. It's all of us. Yeah. We all had it. What? Baby Tara Lipinski, Nicole Bobek. Maybe Tanya Kwiatkowski on like... I don't remember she got month. Okay. okay. So, maybe, okay. maybe March, month nobody really liked. February, something. it's the shortest. How, yeah. dare you? How dare you? Olympic month, Pisces, David, mm. Spletnikov, Eteri Tuberidze together in February. Okay. Now, tell me please. What marks you expect new team, you know, working on elements, so transitions mostly crossover, right? But nice crossover, nice. Yeah, it's what they should be doing, yeah. But new, right? Yeah. New team, she not looking at him. You know, Alexa looks at Brandon like he's her older brother's idiot friend. You know, like maybe he got too drunk to skate the exhibition at 2019 Nationals, allegedly. You know, that's how I think she looking at him. I think we need to work on chemistry. Marks from Lori Barker. Go to skatingscores.com. I'm right there. I have it pulled up. Bless Jonathan, his heart. Jonathan Bayer. Read it to Galena. Would no. you like the? Would you like Galena? Would you like to hear the free skate components or the yes, short yes. program? I love it. Love it. Free. free. Let's do free. Lori Let's Parker. Do... Okay, judge and she's three. judge number one, as she wants us. No, to. no, no, no. Judge one singles. Bears judge three. Oh, of Roger course. Glenn, judge one. Right? Nine nine two five Maybe. nine nine Maybe. two five. David Tavabet, are you kidding? <laughs> Tell me, please. No. What did Jessica Kalalan, beautiful girl like Pocahontas, and Brian Johnson, strong boy with beautiful ass pants, what did they get from Lori Parker? 
It's coming in loud and clear, Lori. <laughs> multiply, correct? Mm -hmm. multiply. Now, oh. Oh. now she's got Ashley and Tim in the sevens. Oh, Ashley, Tim. Oh. She has Audrey Lou and Misha Mitra. But you Mi know, Lori Parker, she love it a point two five point the bar bit. Okay, she love it. Love it, mm, Audrey mm, Parker. Mm. Love it, components protocol. Tell me, tell me, please. What she give it, Ashley Kane Gribble? Eight, seven, seven, five, oh. seven, five, oh. eight, seven, oh. seven, five. But oh. now listen to this, Galena. <laughs> what she give Audrey Lou, Misha? Audrey Lou. and Misha. She's given much higher. Eight, she seven, seven, five. Oh. Eight, eight, seven, seven, five. Now. Lena, Not Christmas in. card for Lori Parker. Okay. Yeah. You know who should be sending her some? Tara and Danny. She gave them seven five seven five seven five seven seven five eight. No, Jonathan Fire. Tell me, please. Did you go to a short program? Right. Remember, Lori. No, Parker. this was the free. This was the free. I, no, 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 no. Okay. Short program. Look at short program now. Okay, so now we're gonna move on over to the short program. God, I love short this program music. pairs, right? Okay, okay. Okay. Remember and this Lori mm -hmm. Parker. Remember Dana Graham, first cousin. Okay, like this. Okay. But Lori directing. You know, on Big Brother, Lori Parker is like Nicole Franzel. She always know which way house is voting, never get blood on hands, you know? Mm. She she do it and smile on the face, beautiful face, like good husband work, she no working, right? Very relaxed face, very nice, mother judge, skating money, you know. She probably like double jump in 80s, you know, not so okay. <laughs> Very good, right? Like good skating money, good, yes, okay. Tell me please, Ashley Kane Gribble, how she judge Dana Graham, how she judging Triple Salco? Tell me, please. Okay, and this is judge number three on the triple. No, no, no. Cycle. This is caller. Caller. Remember Dana Graham. Caller. Lori Parker. Oh, with the double. Judge. Yes. Double ding. Double ding. Mm -hmm. Double ding. Mm -hmm. You know, that is more this symbol than Ashley can ever see in algebra class. Okay, push the paper. <laughs> you know, not student. Okay. Tell me, please, getting 1.3 points. No, Skate America. We we let Mariah Bell win, okay? <laughs> Looking at Freddie Tunnel. Yeah. Mariah Bell. We said, oh no, jump clean, jump clean. They gained one point from their triple South Cup. You know, I was thinking about this. You know, US figure skating, these are the same people. They keep inviting Gracie Gold for publicity. And I tell you, if Gracie Gold skate, I like this by computer. Okay? I cannot help it, right? I'm like this. No, no, John, it is like show. Okay, Gracie Gold skating. I want to see blonde girl. Think of all the monies we getting. Okay, sponsors, right? It, no. Their media may say, oh yes, Timothy LaDuke, wear your green eyeshadow on Instagram. But does Lori Parker like it? Daughter, big Republican, Kelsey Parker, big Republican. She like it, um, uh, this green eyeshadow, high heels. You know, very conservative. US figures get in Colorado. Yes, they, they say it, they like it gay. You think they like it? I don't know. I think Ashley Kane. You think maybe they think it now, tall girl. Leafs won't be good. You know, I think Ashley Kane and Tim, they, I worry that they thought- First of all, let's thank Galena for stopping by because she's <laughs> always a gem. She is always a gem. And again, having heard her speak to you live on speakerphone, I can vouch that this is like a 100% Authentic uh, impression. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you, thank you. Yes, okay. So, because Igor is different. 
Igor is like, Dev. <laughs> what you saying skating lesson about me, Christian? You like it program? You know, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Oh my God, Igor was on Sea Live this weekend, like drinking beer in bed. Another point, I was talking to him, he'd be typing because the kids were yelling. At one point I was giving my rundown of like schools that like certain communities send their kids to. And he was like, what did you say about that school? Oh, that school is where you go if you slack off the first two years of college and then get your stuff together. Yeah, he was loving it, okay. Okay, okay, see, Figure you're teaching everyone all the things. Figure skaters understand like uh, so hierarchy in any mm -hmm. form. Mm -hmm. It's getting you for it, right? Okay. <laughs> so Ashley Kane and Tim LeDuc, hmm, looking at them, when they won, remember she hit her concussion on the ice. We were back on the ice, miraculously close. It was a bad fall. Do you think they thought that they won because they were the best team in the country? Or did they win because the Alexa and Chris nationals where they were laughing at their own bad performance was like their Britney Spears shaved head walking in the, listen, uh, yeah. we had those times in our lives. 100%. Extra pounds in the gut. You are not sleeping well, stressed, maybe, you know. Not focused. Not that It was the weirdest nationals in that discipline I have ever attended with implosions from teams. Like, um, remember Emily Shuttle was like, they're making mistakes I didn't even know were possible. Like yeah. people were making mistakes. There. Yeah, on things you didn't know that they were gonna make mistakes on. And I so, commended them on seizing that moment because it was a once in a lifetime moment that literally every single competitor fell to the wayside in a major way and they burst through that door. They're not the best matchup like some of the others. They don't have certain wow elements like others, but they had everything just consistent enough that they just seized that moment. But I think that kind of was when the planets aligned for them. It wasn't an indicator that we were entering a new era. Too. Let's not play. Remember, they used to go the Scott Brown route. He was very politically astute, maybe 20, circa 2014. What happened to Scott Brown? Is he like working in real estate, showing dogs? Like I, what happened to him? I don't, I don't hear his name. Curious. He's apparently very, a um, little bit scary, you know? Okay, okay. It's not like when we ask someone like an honest question, like, well, how are you gonna fix your short program for the world championships? Cause maybe you've you know, not done it so well this year. He was right. outraged. Yeah. Like Me we're all too. headless. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, such a such an unprofessional question, you know. You know, an actual question. Yeah, about a competitor who's competing. <laughs> you know, the sky is blue, Jonathan. How are you? Or the sky looks a little bit gray today. Will you be happier when it's blue? How dare I'm, you acknowledge that it's gray? Dare you how acknowledge dare that you acknowledge gray. that it's gray? Yeah. That is how Scott Brown would like you to say, you know. Yeah. He could work for the guy in Skating Club of Boston and Kellyanne together. They could have like, <laughs> And it's I interesting remember. because this this is what I sort of see happening. Listen, we all know that U.S. peers are not nearly as competitive internationally as- I don't know. We I would, I'm looking better last night. You know, yeah, of course. But just in, in general, we're not at the forefront of that race. And, and I don't think that it's out of the realm of possibility that we could- try to be back in the race, but I think a lot of our teams exclusively think domestically. Well, it's no, as if they don't even know how to think bigger. So this is why Ashley Kane and Tim are only half good at politics as opposed to Alexa who gets it. They went to Elton John and Delilah because that was what was the du jour of the moment. But tell me please, who had better packaging for her teams, Elton John or Tamara Moskvina? Right. Tell me. Especially Tamara's- Do you realize how Elton John, why is she called Elton John? Because the woman can't dress, okay? Would she, would you trust her to give you advice in an aesthetic sport uh, for parents? I, I, and I know it sounds silly, but- it a Woman who is 79, who can still do a plank at her competition weight. Who yeah. do you think has her understanding of figure skating at a higher level? Right. The team, Especially with unique teams. The girl who gave you Candyman. Right. Or the girl who gave you Levastrom. Right. Who are you going to ask for advice? Right. 
The one who makes you in a film with Zabiaco and Enver when they split up right after? Or <laughs> Tamara Moskvina, very good friend of important people in Russia. You know, tell me. Yeah, that to me, if I was, and it's almost like if you're going for the person who's that in vogue at the time, you're almost behind it. Like at you least I mean? Alexa went to Aliona because she was cunning. Okay. That to me, that was so brilliant. And I'm sorry that didn't work out. For Maybe it didn't work out. Reason. It shows you she has, you know, a brain in her. Yeah, head. yeah. I don't see Chris Kinnear I'm wearing green eyeshadow. I'm just saying, okay? <laughs> I don't see him playing that political game. Okay, U.S. figure skating is fake. They are as fake as the day is long. They may tell you that they support you and that they like you. Look at their actions, okay? Right. If someone from U.S. figure skating is smiling at you, check your back. That's all I'm saying, okay? Yeah. yeah. You may I mean, it was interesting, Dave. I mean, this played out like nationals. I, I had to often remind myself that I was wa not watching nationals. Even with some a token international applicant like uh, Keegan Messing, who used to represent the United States anyway. So it just I love felt it. like nationals everywhere. And you see that politicking starting to take place. Now, I think- How about, the how about Jim Peterson? Okay, so Tara and Danny, remember, they had to leave Delilah, US figure skating, things are happening, advising. Now they didn't go to the Great Park Ice Arena, <laughs> but they tried out with Rockney, they tried out with, they had a tryout with their old coach as if somehow, you know, you spent like right. eight years with someone, somehow they've changed. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Tried out the Letoms, but Jim was back in the fold here. He's comfortable for them, like an old pendulum. Yeah. Remember how uh, Dick Button referred to Todd Eldridge? That means it's boring, but it will fit the bill. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I was following. <laughs> Not Brian Botano, but you're reliable for us. You yeah, know? exactly. Exactly. Okay. So. I imagine Tara and Danny, okay, first of all, Jim, not even their official coach, already on the Instagram, showing you that he was there at Skate America. He mm -hmm. was ready, because you know his other team, he only has one other pair team, and that boy was called out by Emma Tang. On, not Emma Tang, it, he was called out by, um, I think Hannah on Instagram, but I had heard that story too. Okay. I mean, that is a known story. Okay. Um, uh, I mean, I heard Mitch knew that story, that something was texted to Mitch Moyer. I wonder if he filed that with Safe Sport. I don't know. Anyway, um, things I would love to know. Anytime I hear anything, I make sure to forward it to Mitch Moyer to make sure that there's a record that he freaking received it. Mm. You know? mm. So remember, Mitch Moyer, when he wanted something, called us how many times? It was like, it was, it was psychotic a little bit. Because he gave a quote where he admitted that Tanith Belbin had an eating disorder and then he wanted to pretend like she didn't. And Jenny was like, no, we're not changing that. That's true. I roomed with her on tour. Like, that's why they were mad at us. Not because okay. they were like, you're mean to skaters. You see? Right, 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 right. But because you were truthful about people's struggles. You know, I don't let them like, you know, edit my article on the Ice Network, <laughs> you know? Right, right. Not Nick McCarple, honey. Okay, so, Jim Peterson. He made sure that his mask, US figure skating mask, remember, oh, very good friends with Mitch. <laughs> working Tara, Tara, you could like, see him at the boards when he gets like in his mode, like he is coaching this Carmen program. And that's gotta be hard to just like inherit. I think, Jim, uh, excuse me. Jim Peterson is someone that has been watching Tara and Danny all along, waiting for them to come back, saying, no. I, I don't, I just don't, I feel bad for them. I don't, I don't think they're getting better with Delilah. I, I don't see it. Well, I, fair enough. I think the choreography is better, right? Well, uh, yeah, a little bit. Although, remember, I, I kind of like the, or I really like the Shaylin Swan Lake. Remember, Deanna did say that if you make any mistake in a competition, Jim has to change your program around. So you never do the same program twice. He, we have to change, right? The intensity. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I asked, we asked her on C Live. We were like, Deanna, how many times does, um, Jim change your program? She's like, I don't have enough fingers and toes. Okay, like, I... <laughs> so now Tara and Danny are back in the fold. Now remember, when she trained with Jim, she could like miss her second element and stop the program when she's yelling at Danny. Like she does not like to show herself in a bad light. So I was thinking 
they had to leave Delilah. Remember, Danny bought a house. So something must have happened for them to have to leave right. the girlfriend behind. Like, right. There's a strong, I would be not happy, you know, if I were Tara Kane. I, I like, I got my Carmen program. I have a boyfriend. Danny bought a house. Like, all our bills are being covered at the OTC, honey. Like, and then I had to leave. Are you kidding me? I would not be happy. All right. So Tara Kane, do you think like they've been training full out the last couple of weeks? I don't think so, honey. You know, like they've gone from rock knee to this one to that, like. Yeah. Well, and then you're just gonna be getting all of this like potpourri of information that's a little disorganized. There's no overarching theme or sort of plan here. That would be, that would be tough. Danny was okay in this competition. Tara skated in a Gracie Gold post 2016 type way you know yeah. like it yeah. was like oh honey right yeah. I, it, like deer in the headlights so but her hip action with that carmen choreography on the big t big fan okay big fan okay this is what will happen tara and danny jim will water down your content so you'll be ready for nationals and then i think that you will be able to beat audrey and misha i don't know they like well, let's see. Aud Audrey and Misha were so fast. Like, that was I insane know. to me. Like, just the energy behind them and the presence. And, like, because if we're being... Also, these pairs are older. Like, we, we have seen these pairs forever. So just the fact that there was someone new and energetic and fast. And it's so funny because a couple of times at this competition, people would do a transition into an element. And when it really wowed me and I thought whoa what a fascinating what and they messed it up and then like the the transition was so cool and almost too difficult to function for the task and that happened on definitely one of the throws for um audrey and misha when you know she goes under him and through him and then he threw her um but and that you know the packaging the programming wasn't necessarily my favorite but there's again an inherent speed and excitement to it that kind of snapped me awake out of the run of the mill sort of middle line pairs. I got distracted for a moment. I need to Fair go enough. On a you need to what? I need to go on a tangent. There oh, okay. You never really, do that. There, there are two things that really annoy me, Jonathan. Okay. When it comes to phone calls. Tell me. That phone call you get about your vehicle's warranty expiring. You live in the city. Yes. Get it? And there's an Apple device one that I've been getting nonstop. And then these text messages that we get, hi, David, it's, Mo it's Molly volunteering for Joe Biden and the Democrats. Don't text me. I have enough Don't. text messages. It's a skating weekend. I got it under 200. I'm very happy with myself. Wow, that's very little for you, yeah. I would like you to not have my number. I already voted. And no, I'm not going to call people to tell them to vote. If they are too stupid to go to the ballot and think that voting is important, I can't help them. And frankly, my spam is not going to change anyone's mind. They already it's need to true. Be, okay? Also, these Democrats that feel so, the real liberals that feel good when they're writing the postcards, that whole social media. Thing. I have seen that a lot. If someone got my address, I would be like, who gave out my app? That would freak me out. I would be like, Hell no, honey. I would write back in red Sharpie, I'm not an idiot, I voted. Return sent. Okay. Return to sender, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's true. Yeah. But it, you know what, hey, there's and a nice- I think, the, I think the postcard is just liberal anxiety. Like it's like a stress <laughs> reduction exercise, like adult coloring, like- because it reminds me of some, this is such a nice skating tie-in because as I was watching a lot of the skaters at Skate America in particular, I'm wondering who's practicing a lot versus who's practicing smartly. Mm. And that, and what you're talking about with these postcards, it's like you're putting in a lot of effort. I'm not sure that's the most effective way to utilize your time and energy if you, if you wanna get that word out. Did you ever read the Rachel Maddow article in Rolling Stone? where she said that Republicans have power and Democrats are like that cute thing that loses, like a Honda Civic. <laughs> she, she had some like great quote in the Rage, okay. like, uh, maybe 2017, and it's the big Rolling Stone cover. Okay. Where Rachel, it was the best, it was the best. I've never, I was like, yes, honey, yes, okay? <laughs> like, 
I feel it strongly. It's like those Warren fan supporters that are like, she was fine. She was fine. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. She was like a Michelle Kwan to a lot of people. I was just like, oh, I know. Honey, I think she's like an Angelina Kadinoff. Rather okay, than, fair enough, fair enough. That's, yes, that's a better comparison. Oh, Angela was so transformed. Train your long program, you know. <laughs> maybe like, don't just think, maybe have a strategy that doesn't just make Republicans think that you're gonna be taxing their wealth away, okay? Like. Dave, I have to be honest. I'm like, oh God, we're talking politics. <laughs> I use skating as an escape. <laughs> Jonathan, I follow politics very intensely. Oh, I do too. That's why it was like, uh, but it was a such welcome relief to then be inundated with skating. Would be to vet someone and to put together like the talking points, pick the vice president to hit the key demographics. I would love it. Okay. I listened to the David Axelrod podcast. Oh, I would love it. Okay. 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 Where that guy got me too He really ruined a great book series. Okay. Oh my God. That's the real try to shoot the Me Too era. We didn't get a game, <laughs> game three. I'm joking, people. I know, I Some know. Of you don't get my sense of humor. Okay, anyway. So Tara Kane and Danny, she gave us the sexy opening. I was here for it. Mm -hmm. Now, I need to talk to Mervyn Tram. Mervyn, yeah, this one's confusing. I used to hear rumors that you were a stubborn boy. You know I love you. I think you're one of the only skaters who has an education. I think you have beautiful hair now that you got it cut after whatever was happening in quarantine. You finally have a partner who's landing her triple jumps. You land your triple jumps in practice. This is not the time to fall in a triple flip that we see you land so beautifully. You can do these jumps like no one else, Mervyn. A world medalist, like a world medalist. You have a girl with skating money. They have homes, plural. You need to land this stuff, Mervyn. She got you a nice three hour haircut. I mean, come on, Mervyn. It's, and I, I mean, obviously it's always a personal decision, but for, for some of the skaters, obviously. Um, you seen him when he lands in purple with the soft knee and the glide out. I mean, he looks like he has at least two years of engineering, by the way, that he lands those. <laughs> okay. Physics, yeah. Oh my God, he looks like, oh. I'm very happy with him. That was, it, it like, oh my God. Like the Japanese skating skill quality from when he was mm -hmm. thinking mm -hmm. Japanese. And I was confused by this short program. She's a very expensive, sexy dress. Mm -hmm. And then the music is boring. I thought we were going to get a Fifty Shades of Grey program. I thought maybe we were going to learn something new about Olivia Serafini. <laughs> new. Okay. I thought the program was going to be exciting. But then the music came on. Yeah. Well, in general, um, a lot of just like bland emo music happening. Not here. No, it's it's run its course. And you know, yes, blah, blah, blah. I'm a classical musician and I maybe sound like an old funny daddy, but there was such a remarkable lack of any classical music here. And so then everyone's like, oh, an old war horse like Turandot or whatever. And it's like, actually no one, yes, we got the one Carmen program, but I, I'm like, yes, we got one Rachmaninoff program. But outside of that, like everything is just an emo ballad. Mm. I kind of miss it. Jim, I think you need to put some low lights in Tara's hair now that she's Carmen. Okay, we need to see a new Tara Kane, not as dark as Ashley Kane's, which looked like she dyed it out of the bottle. But I think we need to, you know, look, by the way, November, mid-November is when we're gonna get to watch that documentary about Ashley Kane, and I can't wait. Mm, okay. <laughs> they, it could have helped if they meddled here. I mean, this had to be a huge blow for them to be pewter. I want my first viewing to be on Sea Alive, <laughs> okay? Like, I just... Um... The, yeah, they're pushing a story that's interesting because I don't think it's a story domestically that they might think it is. I mean... I don't know, honey, but I want to watch it. Yeah, the judges could have gone either way. The judges could have made it so that they were bronze, and they were not, so... Where would you move? Would you call Jenny and Todd next? If you were I, Ashley and Tim? Yes. I think if you're Ashley and Tim, you are digging in your heels and you're not making any changes, quite honestly. Well, then I, I don't think you're, think you're leaving Tad. 
Well, then I think you're fourth place at nationals. I think so too. And no, I think that's inevitably what's happening. Wherever her husband is money. Okay. She married well. Okay. okay. That wedding was about Ashley. You saw the pictures. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think um, they can. I, Jenny and Todd would be interesting. Miriam is quite. I, I think whoever's going to can help I the lifts. Parent limitations. Yeah. But yeah. so someone made a really good point is that he bulked up to be able to lift her, right? Like he is doing the most, Ashley. You better right. be matching him in that area. If you are tip and you bulk up and put on that muscle, it makes cardio even harder. So right. yes, you can do the lifts, but then doing the cardio, it's like such a balance between right. the whole thing. So then it becomes doing the lifts in the program actually becomes even more difficult, doing them outside of the program much easier. Right, Great. interesting, okay. I was doing Kristen Fraser's cardio this morning and I was like, oh, girl, <laughs> don't call me a pear boy from Texas. You know, like, <laughs> all right, should we move along? I think we- Let's do it. I was thrilled for Alexa oh, and Brandon. Also, I always love to see the Israeli boy who has a new partner after every Olympics. They're always blonde, always like not Israeli. <laughs> I enjoy yeah, exactly, exactly. Didn't one of them have like an Irish last name or something? They really- <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> you do not have to be Jewish to compete for Israel, honey. Okay, I, I just am saying. But I was thrilled. This was a big win for Alexa and Brandon and I thought it was really nice to see. Yeah. It, it was like a feel good kind of thing. And I, and I really yeah, like that. Jessica and Brian's lifts, gorgeous. Her triple Stunning. cell, under rotated. Less so. Yeah. I work, she's being, she's, unless she fixes that, it's going to be dinged every time. She's been branded with her Scarlet A. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I think that she has the most beautiful dress, but it makes her look like she has an expensive skin condition, like a vitiligo or something. I don't get what the dress has to do with the music. It what was, almost has a peacock quality to it, almost. And it reminds me of the Charlotte Hornets with that like blue and purple kind of thing going on. I'm not saying it's an ugly dress. I think it's a very lovely dress, but what does it have to do with the music? I don't know. No. no. Okay. Let's move along to the ladies. Ah, yes. This, okay, can I, can I just share something with you? Yeah. I've been stressed. I've been tired. Okay. She's on her last nerve over here. <laughs> and watching, wait for it, Karen Chen this weekend, I almost cried. Yeah. I legitimately was like, this is so lovely to see. Now, listen, I know she's pewter. Should she have been pewter? I don't know. But just seeing someone do that in a lovely program with some of the best spins, some of the best skating skills. Like, it was just a really lovely moment for me. So, you know, Karen Chen choreographs most of her programs herself. Somehow, politician extraordinaire Drew Meekins, remember, like, son of a state senator who recently mm -hmm. passed, he learned the political game better than anyone. Somehow, his name is listed as a choreographer for Karen Chen's program. But we know mm -hmm. that Karen. So he gets credit for the, I mean, come on. Both programs loved. Karen Chen, Stunning. Like, it's like she enjoys skating, like she's watched skating from when- It gave me a feeling because I felt like she had a feeling. And we'll talk about this in um, you know what some I love of the other disputes too. She got rid of that triple X, triple toe combination at the beginning of her free skate. The double axle, triple toe, much better. Okay. Yeah. I, and let's just enjoy a massive triple Lutz, which is lovely to see. Instead of being stressed out by its size and delayed rotation, I can just enjoy it. Although I have to say the caller was a bit generous. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was yeah. not the Ashley Kane caller. Oh, Johnny was calling right. him out. Because, you know, they used to maybe judge him like Ashley Kane and Evan Lysacek was Lexa from time to time. Yeah. Dave, I went to European Championships after Nationals, St. Paul. Skaters come up to me, Jack. Coaches, they say, Galina, tell me, please, which relatives of Lysacek on the panel at the national championship? <laughs> <laughs> that was a tough one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Karen Chen looking great. Yeah. Uh, um, really. Talk to, let's talk about Audrey Shen. 
Because I'm curious to get your take on her because we've not discussed her very much. She can be an up and down skater, but when she's hot, she's hot. When she's not, she's not, right? She yeah. did nationals one recent year. Um, that late in the program lots, and I was like- father, allegedly. Um, I think they will be very happy with her performance this weekend. I like it. She has a very pleasant quality. I like that she was channeling Pogorilaya in the free skate. I felt <laughs> like Anna was with us. Oh my God, Anna's pregnant. Well, it is. Yeah. Like, uh, so I just, I liked Audrey's performance this weekend, like at the Villa Chacarna. It was so good. It was just, uh, I loved it. I just- For me, I, Karen and Audrey had some real moments in the free. They, they were the most enjoyable free skates for me. It was like a junior ladies national championship winning performance. I loved the vibe of Audrey Shin. It really- Yeah, yeah. Um, but she did get a cue uh, on her triple sow, the free skate. Uh, I, overall, I really, I like it. I think, you know what, it can be enhanced. She's with Tammy, what do you expect? But, you know, we can take it at a higher level. Maybe not with Justin Dillon, the former assistant of Tammy directing the show, but I think she could move to a Robbie Wallier or someone and mm. get a choreographer and we could we can like upgrade her, you know? I would invest, get her maybe away from the dad. We can like, you know, let her relax, yeah. her skating, skate bigger. I like yeah. it. What do you think of Brady to now? Okay. So this is this is what like I was saying earlier. Someone who I believe trains hard. I don't know if she's training smart. And I don't know that that's on her Wait, or her team. Say it again, Dave. She's with Tom Z. Has that lever changed this box? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, exactly. I think I think Tom Z also perhaps epitomizes working very hard, perhaps in not the right ways. This this was tough. She's she's doing the movements, um, and I don't get a feeling. And this is where I am okay with Mariah coming out ahead of Brady overall here, because I feel like even if it's not a soulful performance, I feel like Mariah is enjoying herself. I don't get that from Brady. And I feel like if Brady tried to show us she was enjoying herself, she would stage in a smile. It's so scripted, her movement. And I don't know that she feels an emotion when she skates and therefore I don't as a viewer. So it's interesting. Her former coaches had the girl Finley here who uh, had never made nationals. Uh, and then was here at Skate America. And she, you know, they lost their other, they lost Isabel, Callista, Brady, all at once. Um, but I have to say, Brady maybe should um, write a letter of apology and come back. Her jumps have not gotten better. In, in fact, Brady has regressed. This yeah. jumper. And um, I see an under rotation. Uh, triple Lutz Q, Triple Toe Q, Triple Flip Q. They didn't give her the edge, so that was nice. Um, yeah, I, I. she needs to do what she does well. And that's jump and be, she needs to be healthy um, because they didn't help her the way that maybe we tried to help other skaters at right. this competition. I just thought, ooh. I don't. And it's one of those things where there was so much emphasis put on early on. She's the consistent one, needs refinement. So they've been trying so hard to give her this like edgy presence, this season, no exception, but the jumps are now a little squirrely and she's not really delivering an authentic interpretation. I don't think this is, I don't think this is the real Brady skating soul or these two programs. Now, Amber Glenn has had so much buzz lately, right? Again, this is the media arm, but the Lori Marks were very flat. They were 7.758. So I don't think that they trust her yet. I don't think Lori- So, okay, Mr. Axel Technique also, I'm curious because when I was watching the practice footage of her doing the triple axel and then the triple axel double toe, which looked very much under and not ready to compete, she does a very or, strange- on social media, yes. Yeah, she put very strange, she does like a diagonal completely with her arms before she does it. It's a very unusual approach that I was seeing. Um, 
maybe she should go to the Great Park Ice Arena. I think they're sending her a message, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because she almost could have made a move based on the, the competition we saw her in previously. We're like, okay, she's setting herself up like at a place like Skate America. She could have been Audrey. She, I actually think know. she's looking much better. I think yeah. I did read the article, the PR piece on her that said that she got much more intense during quarantine, but I believe it actually because mm -hmm. she was clearly a skater who didn't train her free skate properly. And they were all, there are certain things that you can see, right? And uh, get away from the fan excuses from week to mm -hmm. week. And she made mistakes and kept going here. I mean, the, the combination, the free was opened a little shaky. Amber, a year ago at Skate America, the entire program would have been trashed. Amber, this year, came back, and when she got off the ice, she was upset about her loop. And I think she could have done that loop. I think, you know, it was an error, mistake, whatever, but she's getting better. She's training harder. Remember we talked when she landed the triple axel? We were like, people were saying, yeah, wait until she does it in competition. But I think it made her a believer. I think the fact that she achieved that is making her work harder, train right. smarter, and she needs to keep on this path. I think she probably needs to up her political game. <laughs> and um, and packaging maybe, I'm sorry. And I know people get so upset when we talk about that, but I think like if she were just to present something that, that also indicates to everyone else, this is something new. So she's a reason to look at me again. She need, Jenny was really pointing out astutely at the precise moment when her free skate loses you is during that footwork sequence. And it's, e I think you could put another bland, music underneath but she needs like that's where she needs the you know when um da, 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 the experience by a naughty but that's when you have the one and they see me coming after you you know like that's when you need that because there's something missing in her program mm -hmm. she also is doing the sasha skid but she's like not doing it full out like big at center ice it's misplaced so they, they have good ideas but it's a little busted but that's well that's what i even thought like when brady was doing a Charlotte before one of her things and I was like no, I think you so. I, I think you should hold that one until you're ready to really do it she's with Tom Z you I know so it's like just let it go then come up with a different why put that in as an extra thing to draw our eye to what you're not doing full out you know what I mean so why was that Tom Z I don't know I don't know. And, and now riddle me this uh, Mariah Bell wearing the same dress for both programs. The short which, dress wasn't like feeling right or something like it wasn't. Oh, is that okay? So I didn't get that story. So yeah. this was always the intended dress for the free. Yes, it's the Ava dress. She starts like this. Because I was waiting for a Firebird in either program and never got it. I would like. I would like. Thank God they got the memo and fixed that music edit. Usually it changes right as she goes into triple loop, which she's been really jarring yeah. landing at the both ISPs. I noticed that was better. I saw fear in the free program from her from mm -hmm. the moment she stepped out. Now they were skating during quarantine on rink four at the Great Park Ice Arena during quarantine. So I just, maybe it's, maybe because it's nationals for someone like Mariah, it's even scarier than like a normal Grand Prix because this is how- Well, and a lot of statements to make because I, you know that buzz, you know what I mean? So you're trying to- to prove it now. I know Jonathan Byer is going to be watching and making snarky comments about me on the skating lesson. And <laughs> that, I mean, come on. Although you know, we have the same color going. <laughs> yeah. You know, Mariah Bell is like that Jonathan Byer. Uh -huh. <laughs> She's lovely, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like even when the jumps were a little tight, a little questionable here, I'm getting an emotion. I but truly that, believe that she I enjoys skating. Mariah Bell happy. I want her to look happy skating. Mm -hmm. I want to be happy. I don't want to be standing near the sides of the boards if she's not happy and she's doing a program run through. Like, I just, you know, I just want to stay clear, you know? Right. Um, yeah. Now, <sighs> the ABBA program does have a campy element to it. I don't believe Mariah Bell is an artist. I would but like she's fun. We were saying that we think that she should date Nathan Chen for the Olympics. That even like that, even if it's not a real relationship, have one of those like Taylor Swift, Jake Gyllenhaal publicity relationships for the NBC would love that fluff piece, don't you think? Mm, yeah, They're go lovely. for it. <laughs> right? Oh my God, that would be so, what, it would be interracial. Oh, it would be so 2020, yes. Be so woke, yeah. <gasps> 
I mean, it was a big win for her, but of course, being fourth is not much. Would you go for the hot French guy or the guy who's going to Yale and could be a doctor in the future? I mean, come on. What did... (laughs) What did Joan Rivers say? Looks fade, dumb as forever, right? Is yeah, that- exactly. <laughs> Mariah, get with it, okay? Yeah. Nathan Chen, honey. He takes a lot of Instagram videos of you. You can date him, okay? We'd, she- we'd go for it. Oh, those dance moves, okay? I just, oh my God. Um, I thought that she skated really scared. Uh, just yeah. The whole program made me really nervous. And I... <laughs> Wasn't sure if Lori could get the good work done for her. I wasn't um, sure, but Lori did come through. She gave her some nines for um, for components for that performance. But um, I thought it was tight, a tight performance. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, you know who else had a really interesting political game? Remember how Adam Rapon represented the Skating Club of New York, even though he's from Pennsylvania? And you know that you do that because one of the heads of the was... Susan Kittenplin was a Yahoo executive. Another person in the Skating Club of New York is Troy Goldstein. Another person involved or like the Hughes family. Another person was that um, Gail Tanger who made Sarah Hughes' Olympic gold medal politics possible. But then you think about, and there's the woman whose husband is the head of Macy's. There was that woman. So Susan Kittenplin, who used to help with, uh, used to be the head of Skating Club of New York and she it's the one that got Adam Rippon, that adult skating comedy thing that NBC bought. Oh, I was going to ask you about this because I was reading what about it. And they timed that announcement so geniusly, Susan. Props to you. I recognize your game there. And most people won't recognize this, but I do read variety. So Adam had a job. Remember when he was telling me in the interview that he was going to be a stand up comic with Quibi? And I was like, oh, that's very interesting. Um, with that. So Quibi folded the same right. day that the same exact day that his thing announced and no one even noticed and remembered. And I, do you know how many people on Instagram sent me the, did you see the news about Adam and adult figure skating in the series? And I was like, I was more impressed that he, that we're inventing a career for Adam Rapon because we like him so much, which we do, that he loses a job and gets a job in the same day. And the getting a job is so overshadowed. We don't even remember that he was on Quibi. What, what right. was he doing? What was or that? Or what Quibi was. Like, never learned. bad enough I have NBC Peacock Premium. I really like Adam. I, never, I like Adam, but I never downloaded it. I didn't know to what, it, another thing to pay for. It's too much. I don't, I didn't know what was no. happening. Right. I never saw like a reel of him doing his preview. Is it worth it? I, I didn't see it. So I don't know, but that was impressive to me. Couldn't. Yeah. It, it, honestly, they could just make a comedy documentary, you know? Uh, yeah, I don't know. We could like me and Jackie Wong doing dueling double sow cows. And, like everyone could watch it. Mm-hmm. Would you watch it, Jonathan? The behind. Uh, you know, I, that I would watch. That I would watch. <laughs> yeah, like Jackie with Elliot and JVN, me with Galena, Victor. <laughs> you would watch that show? Yes, right? I would. Yes, I would. And he's commentating. That's that's got to be the thing, and Adam commentates. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he would love it. Yeah, you know. And Lori Parker judge. Lori Parker judge. Yes. With Joe Inman. <laughs> and it would love it. Yeah. Christine Brennan's good friend. Yes, Joe mm-hmm. Inman. Like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. probably half of Edge of Glory. Thank you, Joe, for telling her <laughs> what to write down. You know, <laughs> maybe a little slanted in Michelle's favor potentially. I mean, that was that book is like the USFS political game. The edge of yeah. work, like uh, everyone's on team quad. No one is supporting Tara. But like, okay. Well, but that's how it felt at the time. Who was happier with Edge of Glory? Danny Kwan or Frank Carroll? I don't know. You know, maybe Jeff Goldstein. Jeff. Was, yeah. yeah. Good point. Yes. Okay. I do love that book, but it did make me a little uncomfortable, even as a child, being like, God, she's going harsh on Tara. <laughs> like, yeah, right. this is pretty lopsided. Yeah. <sighs> hey, she's <Lord>. heavy. <laughs> Sandra. Sandra, we need. We need in this in this new show you're talking about, Sandra must We're, be there. Haven't, so we have to do a, a separate video. We're gonna have to catch up and do like a separate this and that when you're done with whatever thing you're doing that I don't know anything about. But um, because her battle of the blades started. Okay, that's Same right. Thing. After COVID hiccups, yeah. I did choose the debate over you, but I know that you're a political junkie too. But I couldn't figure out because you know my husband Scott Moyer was 
judge. And Kurt Browning is back to hosting where I think he belongs. So, but I am mad at Sandra about Battle of Blades this year because Katja Gordieva is coaching instead of skating. And I'm still mad that she put Caitlin Weaver ahead of Katja Gordieva last year. So Sandra and I are still like, we have, you know, we agree to disagree on that. Okay. <laughs> I would have liked to be on the judging panel when Katja skates. That's all I'm saying. I would give her the marks that she deserves. Every time. Yeah, exactly. How could you not? Same with Ilanika and Ice Age. I would give her the marks. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Just yes, give it to her. Program was a little boring, but it, that's not her fault. Okay. Amazing. I thought that there was a weird thing going on in Ilanika's performance yesterday. You have to watch. They were like, he was in the phone booth, then she was in the phone booth. It was like they were missing each other. I need to know that Russian story. Also, are there still phone booths in Moscow? I don't know, but I got the visual. Okay. Somewhere in Moscow, did Yevgenia Medvedeva answer that phone call? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Love it. Okay. I see the I, Instagram video coming to mind. Jonathan, That's I, right. And I, then include Oksana, please. You know, the Russians like table choreography and phone imagery, right? Mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm. Powerful stuff. Oh, I love yeah. it. Yeah. Love it. All of my favorite girls. Zenia Medvedev. Son of a you. Elena Ilinik. I love it. You know, like they love a phone. I but now, speaking of, of that general region, let's mm. talk about one of our favorite girls from Uzbekistan. Miss Tatiana um, Malinina. Yes, her son. Of the Aladdin program. I am confused. Why did he take her last name instead of the husband's last name when they were married? Is it because that she's more famous? Because that's genius for figure skating. Because I don't yeah, know. I was like, name. yeah. Because Igor go Putin knows who the husband is. Oh, oh okay. We had the Igor had the best line when, when he was in Sea Alive. We were asking him, Igor, do you know this person? And he'd be like, I know them. They do not yet know me. Like it was. <laughs> I like that optimism too that it yep. will happen. <laughs> but I have to say, I so thoroughly enjoyed watching her son here. Yes, he's All got some tremendous skills. But they were really burying him in the PCS. This would be one I'd like to see. Yeah, he's yeah. fifteen. Yeah, he's got. But I, I'm very excited to see it develop. I I, I do worry that the mother is not the one to help with the components. Remember, she had one program, always a ladder. I, I know, and but but man, fun. with those jumps, she just, oof. She always had such spring. I know, I liked her. She was, an, you know, she once won the Grand Prix final. Michelle Kwan wasn't there because she was making money. And, um, and when the know, stars align just right and you got a jumper like that, if she fun. hits, it's oh, yeah. gonna be tough to beat her. Yeah, she's a Virginia. Oh, she's from Yekaterinburg, Tashkent, Western Virginia. Okay. All right. I like it. You know, she Russian, not really Uzbek. She Russian. Novosibursk Russian. Okay. Um, I like it. You know, the son has two quads. Raphael was taking credit in that, in that Torgashev, when he announced he was working together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why did you know that he worked with Ilya Malinin? And Ilya is like the boy of the moment. Like, yeah. that talent, okay? Yeah, really, really lovely stuff. Really, now, Matt really lovely stuff. has beautiful skating skills. He needs to get that triple axel, okay? Yeah, yeah. He needs to get it. Also, Joseph Kang was here. And Jenny has a question because Cody Hazen is like genius boy, started skating late. Remember you met him at, everyone loves Cody. Cody is like brilliant, like very smart, can remember everything. Now he was telling us that someone else did the program, but Ann Militano was listed as the choreographer and like a coach. So Victor Pfeiffer, who is again, the coach who's very sturdy Austrian, who makes these people train. Ron Biancasino is like one of his second coaches. He's like very, he's known for being very good in spins and also a very good coach. So Joseph Kang was here. He was a replacement. He does a lot of quads on Instagram. Not yet in the competition, but we're getting mm -hmm. there. But Ann Militano, you know, the end of our program, Hold an Edge and Look Sexy. Mm -hmm. Militano, maybe just a name to some people. I know it, legend, okay? <laughs> Ann, identical twin sister of Hold an Edge. Very, <laughs> very scornful, <laughs> okay? Legends. 
remember, she used to be married to Mark Militano, who was very hot in the day, and he wrote those programs, that music for Nancy, you know? Mm -hmm. for Nancy. Mm -hmm. Like this. That was Mark's, okay? Yeah. No, Jenny Budget goes, Sandy Lens. <laughs> Jenny goes, you know that Joseph Kang is my same exact music edit as when I was a Mary student? Funny that. Right. That. Pull the tape. <laughs> yeah. She goes, we want to know, did Mary help? Because I have been debating, Jonathan. I have two ideas for my adult program. There's the music studio for Una Dadio. But you know, I'm always being like, can I do better? Can I do better? And I've always thought about skating to Jupiter because I, I want to be a big, I know, having Galena train a Scott Bold esque program for Paul. Very special. You should know. bring Mary in. <laughs> can I bring Mary in? Can, does Anne give us the Mary like realness? Is Anne as good as Mary? Only one way to find out, Dave. It's how it used to work. If Evie, was mad at you, you had the Mary lesson. If they both were mad at you, you worked with Anne. That was how okay. the hierarchy worked. Back okay. at the end of the cape. So. Got it. Like when I asked someone about Jenny, one of her skating friends, she'd be like, she was an Anne skater. I'd be like, oh, so like she- Say no more. You Say know? no more. It's like you telling Igor about the schools. Yeah, okay. 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 <laughs> yes. okay. But Anne, everyone likes Anne. Very nice woman, very good skater. Very good skater. So remember, they were Gus Lucy students, those Scott Bowles from Hershey, Pennsylvania, those Militano, right. the Batdorf right. sisters, identical. <laughs> Smoke on the ice. Ah, oh, sexy. They look great. I had that dream last night. You got a six, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I love it so much. Scott Foltz. Okay. Jenny never should have left. Okay. Oh my God. Arguably correct. Maybe she should have, but you know, it's okay. Evie can be Evie, you know. Mm -hmm. You meet anyone from the rink, they'll be like, yes, Evie weighed us and put it on a chart in front of the rink. You know, they would. That's heinous. That's heinous, That's but he didn't know how to teach a good Lutz. The old school, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Moving along, Madison Hubble's dress. Jonathan, we are- Wait, do we need anything about Nathan, Vincent, Keegan? Oh, Kind of more of the same, more of the same. <laughs> Vincent, more of the same. I have to be honest, um, when you I was struggling with my Peacock after. premium, someone, uh, I was looking up individual programs on YouTube and someone, I don't, <laughs> I try not to like just cut too deep, but someone wrote, Oh, nice to see Vincent's edges are as flat as the cardboard fan cutouts. And I was like, that's terribly rude, but from a comedic building of a joke, that's very good structure. <laughs> um, I, I just see more of the same. Nathan also, uh, just a bit more of the same. Oh, it was dull. Yeah, for Nathan. It has no heart in the middle of the program. There's one part that's sort of... I mean, here's the thing. I understand Great he has more, more skating skills than Vincent. So so we applaud his skating skills that way. But I'm talking, when you've got Hanyu and you've got Shoma and you've got, you know, uh, Kol Yada, who we saw this weekend, I, you gotta, you gotta yeah, kind of yeah, do something here. You know, you owe it to yourself, I think, to just come up with something a little yeah, greater. Here. We may not have national. Right. Corona cases are going up. Yeah. All rinks may shut down, but Skating Club of Boston thinks they deserve to be open. Doug Z, Tom Z, just saying, a lot of Z's there. A lot of Z's <laughs> up in there, okay. Uh, yeah, um, Nathan, I he looks good, but I, this is not the program that they are spending the money on and investing in, this is- just, Yeah, and, and you know where he's, he's almost maybe saving himself. Him. I hope he goes back to Elton John. This is so boring. This is so boring. It is. Yeah, it wasn't a, here's short, the thing. Short, Philip, Philip Glass is a minimalist, right? So for to do that for a whole long program, that's a bit tough. Like, I don't think it, it, it ebbs and flows enough. 
I like something we need. A rebel that he insists on wearing ugly costumes. He's like, I don't care. I'm going to win anyway. It gives it sort of a flippant energy, which is part of what I almost like about him because he's almost above caring about certain things. But yet, at some point, you kind of need him. I like him. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I like the energy of him very much. Um, it just almost seems too businessy sometimes in these in these particular programs for me. He suggested them zooming Jason Brown in. They didn't listen to us, and I was like, he was missed in this competition. Yeah, I don't know that he. I don't know where he would have ended up here. I think Lori would have put him second. I mean, I would hope so because those programs are so freaking exquisite. Do you know what I mean? I mean, Lori has eyes. Yeah. Unless she's at unless she's at the Olympics, judging for Vincent and and Nathan and Hanyu, she has eyes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she knows what her okay. mother do, and she knows. <laughs> she probably talks to Mitch. Maybe they send text messages. I, I don't. But speaking of Mother's Day, let's talk ice dance. <laughs> let's talk oh about. It. Yeah, we'll go. Okay, mothers. You know, John. When I talk about like skating mothers who get like online people on their side riled up, I think about like Jeremy Abbott's mother who would get like Doug Mattis, and uh, you were a part of that crowd at Nationals when we met. Like the Alice. I really, Mann I really. I really liked um, meeting her initially. Remember Jeremy Abbott's mom was behind that article written about people when they didn't support the narrative that she was spinning because you know she works in PR when she wanted to spin the Jeremy comeback hero narrative. Um, uh, Ms. Rachel Flatt's mom used to be very powerful. Their moms make a lot of noise, always. You know, they always will talk. Um, I have really tried get on board with them this season. And I thought the programs were better. I think Zach looks better. What in the gay hell was she wearing in the short program? Okay. Yeah, because I was so excited about their rhythm dance it's when I saw it. Her own dress. Okay. And I was like, listen, I know it's burlesque. I know you're in Vegas, but this, this is tough. You're making, listen, again, I know everyone, like, why are you talking about the outfit? It distracted from the pro. I couldn't focus on the program, and I liked the program. I, although I think the ending can end with a bigger bang, um, something kind of fizzled away there at the end, and musically didn't quite work for me. But um, no in general, it's great. I just don't. My good friend Jane Ron sent me this when Hubble got on the ice. I mean, these are the kind of text messages that people are sending in skating. It is the meanest sport. Okay. Yeah, and you, but you don't want to do something that detracts, that something that enhances. So um, I'm sure it'll change. I'm sure they oh. know. I'm sure they're getting the note all over the place. But it was a misfire Doug because the power player did get in with the governor of Massachusetts. International seniors and juniors can start training tomorrow at the skating club of Boston. It's very interesting. Very. Oh, we all make. But that was the club that didn't alert people when Sean Marcinski had COVID. But Sean wrote a message on that petition that they all tried to get people to um, get people to sign, being like they've been so safe. But and people are like, well, Sean's students didn't have COVID. Now that's interesting because skaters did get COVID. But remember, in an ice rink, people are whisking by you. Aerosol is spraying. The air is recycled. All the carbon monoxide poisoning from the Zamboni, and it's remember COVID is bred in a. Um, cool environment. That's very interesting to me. That's funny. Mm. You know, mm. we have more cases than ever. And I think people may be um, living in a delusion if they think some of these competitions are happening. So right. Because uh, France canceled, right, canceled this past week. Nationals. Um, but then this perplexes me because Canada back. didn't just cancel, they rescheduled. And I was like, this was back like in April when the Met uh, the opera and Broadway just like picked a random date in April that they would reopen. And I was like, I don't think that's how this works. The Broadway queens were like, oh my God, there's gonna be no theater in 2020. Even they were like, have come to the reality that this is not happening. And those yeah. Broadway queens, you know, they are next level, okay? Well, and the Broadway queens I know <laughs> and yeah. an opera queen myself, if you will. I am Glad. Devastating because we have no work. There's like no live theater. So it is devastating. It's heinous, but almost instead of like continuing to get the hopes up, like let's just try to formulate um, Broadway something. Broadway queen you're with, I love him. Okay. I think he's pretty much yeah. earth. He's so nice. <laughs> I think he'll be a good stepfather. I like it. Okay. Oh God. Oh God. We're not anywhere near meeting the, a child. <laughs> great. Okay. Okay. You're great with kids. I'm not. I will be good. Come on. I, mm. <laughs> 
now I live in Westchester. Oh my God. <laughs> no, I can't move out of my apartment. I put too much money into it. <laughs> you could do House Hunters again. Okay. <laughs> house Hunters, this episode called I Changed My Mind. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Call a friend. <laughs> okay. Yeah, bye. exactly. Exactly. Uh, God. No, I felt that um, oh, Zach I liked and their, their free program was nice and mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. I thought it was really lovely. I thought, I and mean, here's the thing for those people that think like, oh, they did this. I mean, it could be just because I'm a singer, but like, I happen to think that when a different artist takes on the same piece of music, it is a totally different piece of music. As Dick Button once said, you have a uh, national anthem by Whitney Houston, and you have a national anthem by Roseanne Barr. They are two very different things. He was talking about Bolero. I can't remember. Galit Chate, the great Galit Chate. That's right. Now at Montclair right. State Arena with, um, with Igor and Kristen, both ice dance coaches, you know, in that sport. I'm like, I like to make jokes about how long we will get along together for. Okay. And Igor is like, Dave, we have been friends with Galit a long time. I'm like, yes, I know. I know. I just want to know. And like, I'm like, hold your teams close, honey. <laughs> okay. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but, so for me, the, this Point version of- I should have two Barbie dolls, blonde Barbies, one being Kristen Frazier and one being Galit. And like, just go oh. to the- mm -hmm. That's a big jump from the Tessa Barbie doll, I, I'm just saying. <laughs> no. Excuse but to me, me this Frazier version- got her programs done at Lanique, honey. Okay. 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 Igor. Okay. To have sensitive skin, he used to have Lemare bronzer that he would wear at the competitions. Oh, he wasn't wearing swanky, smoky. You, you're in a competition. You have to wear makeup. Okay, these boys. Well, you're on national television under very harsh arena lighting. This has nothing to do with green eyeshadow. This has to do with just last year, not not Loki detracting. Dressed as a literal crown clown, he took Pagliacci very literally. This year, he had the shirt unbuttoned, no makeup, anything like. Come, I, these boys are mimicking Jace, Nathan Chen in the wrong way, okay? Right, right. Okay. Nathan is an exception to the rule. He can do what he wants. When you jump six squads in a program, you can dress like Nathan Chen. I right. wouldn't advise it. I don't think it necessarily looks good, but right. he can do what he wants. Right, right. But in any case, I, I very much liked the Alleluia free dance here. And their twizzles are greater than ever. And just like seeing how much ice coverage they get and those deep knees and the openings of these things, it's just it's some pretty powerful stuff. It was yeah. nice to see. And then um, Wyke and Baker, um, I thought they looked they're good. Their opening uh, rotational lift in the free dance, especially, really nice moment, really nice moment. I'm not so into this the the rhythm dance, and I, it wasn't really last year. It's not for me, but I get it. I get they must be trying to capture just that like funky energy because everyone loved their Austin Powers or something so much. I'm just wondering, people. We were having a debate last night if they'll continue after 2022, or maybe the Olympics will be in 2023. Who knows? But uh, I would think people think maybe he's too old to go. But I think why wouldn't they continue? They would be national champion. Unless I don't see college. any reason age would take away from their ability. Yeah. And sometimes in other disciplines, I think that can happen. I don't know that that would happen for them. So why they not? They say one thing now, but things change after the Olympics. Who knows? Who knows? They can stick around stick for around. one year to get that title, maybe. Oh, yeah. Or four. Who knows? Whatever they want to do. Um, yeah. Okay. Russia? No. I just want to say, oh. Hanna Marenko, nice. More of the same Igor the the same. program, but good, improving, mm -hmm. working on the skills, paint by numbers, Spielbahn program. Remember, mm -hmm. Chuck and Bates do that. We've seen right. many teams. Like, right, right. Michael Parsons doing the Prince program. Go. I don't even watch the partner. She's not watching him. She's not in time with him. Um, Michael Parsons. He was described to me as someone who meets you and immediately tries to start wooing you and flirting with you, like kissing your hand. Oh, you know, and like, it's like so over the top, but it kind of works. And now that's all I see when he's like doing his side by, I mean, he loves it for the camera. That thing is, it's like watching Boogie Nights or like the SNL guys. Uh, uh, the, yeah, that's a mm, mm, Night of the Rocks or whatever. <laughs> He's a character. Keep your eye on him. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 
and they use them for the thumbnail even on um, the peacock thing. I, I don't know what everyone else's experience was. I'd be curious in the comments to to feel how this went out. It was hard for me to figure out how to upgrade to premium. Like, that was hard for me that we had to upgrade for premium plus. Because I was But they wouldn't let me one. just buy it initially. And I did just the free week trial, thank God, because I'm just gonna chuck it because the, the replays weren't available right away. Like I was having some playback issues. I didn't watch live, but um so I'm just curious to get what other people's experiences were with it. So. Yeah. Um, now. Can we go to my favorite? Are we going to Russia? About to. Okay. We do want to touch on. Jonathan, what the hell? The Gracie situation. The quotes. She gives quotes like she's very angry, but that she also wants a lot of attention the way someone like Johnny would say something shocking for attention. But her humor is like way darker than anything Jonathan that Johnny ever. Because you have to be in on the joke. Like um, there's no joke. Well, there, but I mean, when you make that kind of comment, you know how like um, he had like, mood problems, but she also doesn't train properly. Yeah. Yet trains yet can do the jumps. I, uh, what, You're putting us in, uh, and a lot of people are still tuning in for it. And I was like, I don't actually enjoy watching this because that's. I don't enjoy it's, watching it, but you can't. It's a tough it. watch. It's a tough watch for me because I see, like we've discussed before with varying backlash uh, experiences, I don't care if she keeps skating. At this point, I want, legitimately, I'm not trying to sound cheesy, I want Gracie to be okay. Mm -hmm. And I don't. And if that means she she comes back, great. If that means she never skates again, fine. She, I just want her to be okay. And I guess when I see her compete, I don't see someone who is okay. And maybe it triggers something for personal reasons inside of me, but like, I just want to be like, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. Yeah, and the cardboard cutouts were triggered. They were creepy, I have to say. Although I know. Did you notice? Like I think it's creepy with those. Did you notice that Hubble was like acknowledging the people as if they were in the audience when they got? Oh, off? you know what? I don't know. I kind of liked her. Like a Hillary, car. like a. <laughs> she's she's kind of gets it because then she was also like, oh my gosh, it's so quiet. And then she turns and it was adorable. She's like, can you turn on that applause track? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I was like, oh, don't we all want just that they applause track to just They want to go, oh, when someone falls, like, oh, come on. God. Yeah, I mean, it was interesting because I think, you know, some of the lesser known entries were getting thunderous ovations. Seemed, you know, encouraging to hear before you start. What a mess. What a mess. Yeah. I mean, it's embarrassing, but they tried something. Does it look better than the... What? I don't know. It's I was trying to think head. about it. And it's creepy. I mean, did it raise money for their fund at least for for the memorial fund? Maybe to pay for the arena. I mean, I, I mean I, there must be a reason. And actually, when the camera would pan quickly and it just seemed like a blur, it didn't really notice. But when you see that they're like actual props just sitting in things, but they have been doing this for other sporting events. So I, I think they're just following suit. It's not like they came up with it. I don't know. No, in Russia. My favorite country. Um, they have a video board of like tiles. I, I was wondering, and they track. were changing it during the programs. And I thought, I gosh, you know, they always say no flash photography. Dear Lord, like a two-story billboard flashing different images while you're skating. That would throw me for a big loop. I was thinking that Yana, I want her to message me because her, she's incredible, right? I would like her to explain the different judges. I only know Ala, Lakernik, but I would like them to explain to us like the different, which ones are the Atari judges on the panel of the protocol. I would like Yana to help us or someone from Russia who is like in the know, not like a young fan that loves Atari. We need to know the history of these people who was coached by like Kudryatsev, who was coached by Zhuk, you know, because I think Yana could tell us. See you soon, I hope. See you soon uh, in some competition or some uh, shows or some performance. And of course, uh, thank you. Thank you so much for your support. Of course, I see you and I understand everything. Thank you, my friends. And uh, of course, I like it, your video, your glamorous video. 
and if you want uh, post it, uh, post it, it. Uh... I mean, she's just like... It's just the life you live, eh? <laughs> This is from Moscow. At one point, she's like, "This is from Russia. This is from Moscow." I mean, I would like Yana to help us. Okay, I would just, um, I want to know like, who's Team Tarasova? Who is like, where the people go? Because like, we need to know the Laurie Parker Dana Graham connections for this. Because panel. it's like we need when to you're... know like when Doug Williams is on the panel. Like Roger Glenn is like apparently like a he's a champs camp like judge. Doug Williams is the gay judge from like the West Coast who would go to like baseball games with Adam when he was still competing and Derek Dalmore. Adam had a good social game, like Alexa level. Okay. Looks he and Susan sit kitten blend like this. Okay. Adam, that's the one when he wore the ripped jeans and Doug Williams said that they were easy access. And then even though they were like two queens joking with each other, they like safe sported him over it and he got like in like a byline he was like suspended for two months but then came back and there must have been some judge that didn't like him then. yeah yeah to know the other things that have slid yeah yes 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 Dr. yes 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 what did the usfs know about colorado and mama d's camp right for how many years honey yeah. If I were John Manley, I know who I would look at. Yeah. Call me. <laughs> That's not normally how I say that if I'm like, call me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love them all so much. Oh, it's great, isn't it fun? But what I loved most about Russia was we got to see not only Aliyev again, but I also got to see Kolya Da. It's like an embarrassment of riches. It reminds me of back on the junior circuit when we used to get to watch Joshua Ferris and Jason Brown. I was like, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Oh my God. Kolya Da, I mean, obviously the most exquisite we've ever seen him. I want her holding flowers, maybe she for a tear. doing flowers for a tear. Is she in leopard print? She is. Okay, just yeah. checking. I'm gonna share. She's a wild cat and kitten or whatever it is. I hope you enjoy which like photos I choose to like share. The like, thumbnails are always really excellent <clears throat> like, for the um for the videos. I'm always like um, we like I mean so how on God's green earth was Anna Sherbakova ahead of Duk Mishova? No, I remember They're ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I am an Anna Shervakova fan. Of okay. course, she's a lovely skater. I adopted her. I'm not going back on my daughter. I would like her to point her foot, but I'm not going back on my daughter. Or rotate the combo, but. She did not have a good outing here. But I like, you know what I love about Lushenka, other than the fact that he's always up for a fight, is that he is deciding to make a comment about a competition he's not at because he knows and can see the judging shenanigans and that it's two breeds of judges and that no one else is in favor because you know the rumor because i have to say you know the rumor in russia is that when terry agreed to take back medvedeva that the federation made her assurances about mm. things that's the rumor go to like sports are you where terry's sister like posts and you know okay I was thinking about making a video of teaching people with how, what things they need to follow through skating. Like I was talking to Yuyu Lautova and she was like, I don't know where to go. And I'm like, I'll tell you the Japanese blog and skatingscores.com and the VK. The resources the available, yeah. I joined VK for Grupa at Terry Tukuritsa. I mean, you know, I love it so much. Um, okay, so Plushenka right? Today I want to support my coach, Alexei Nikol Nikolaevich Mishin and Lisa Dukdamisheva, with whom I trained on the ice and who I admire for her longevity in sports, for the complex content of the programs and for her strong-willed character. What should Lisa become today with the most difficult content among all participants at the Pure Rento? Well, definitely not number three, taking into account all of her titles and achievements in sports. What about an athlete's faith in justice? 
Or can we close our eyes to the jump mistakes and not risk and not jump triple axel and be above Lisa? And I will talk about it openly if we want to move figure skating forward and respect the work of athletes and great coaches like Alexei Nikolaevich Mishin. I am for fair refereeing in sports where the athlete who takes the jump ultra see in the short program and is still above all the sport of the highest achievements, not just skating. I'm sorry, I 100% agree with him. I agree with him because, uh, listen, Elisabetta has her own limitations, but she she overcame a lot of them in this short program and you gotta reward it when she does it. I mean, for Elisabetta, this was the most um, engaged I've seen her in a long time in a performance. I didn't understand the glove thing. It kind of looked like a cramp hand. He is ready to fight. Like he... This is why he is a champion. Okay. But he should be because the jump content. There, I don't understand how any judge in a in a in a room could defend putting her so much lower. Anna Sherbakova is like the top senior of the Terry Tudbaridza, honey. Like, yeah, I know. Think? I mean, it's just it's just silly. You think this is fair sport? Look at how Lori no. Parker was judging. Th how many Lorries we have in Russia? But, but you but know what? The Lori Parker situation still resulted in basically the right ordinals, if you will, and this did not. <laughs> I mean, in Paris, this is mainly what I'm talking about. I don't think, I don't know. I think Alexa- Like she may have scored Alexa and Brandon too high in PCS maybe by number, but I still think that they were clearly the class of the field. In some ways, yes. In some ways, Jessica and Brian maybe looked like a more cohesive team, even though she had unwanted. I don't know. I think I saw so much potential in Alexa and Brandon, but judging at what I'm seeing now, Jessica and Brian were more cohesive at this point because they have the class and the ability to skate together and the beautiful lifts and just a more cohesive output. But if I'm betting long-term, I'm looking at Alexa and Brandon, I'm being like, well, that's that's where we're gonna do well. Mm. Once she learns how to look. I mean, I, I agree. I mean. But I think if you're judging this moment fairly, it would probably be. But I don't know that in the short, if they had put I mean, Anna below Elisabetta, that it would have done irrepar you know, irreversible damage to- Oh, honey, to they Sherbikova. are not pending to Demish for the Olympic Games unless they- I know, I know, poor thing. Because she did the axle, it wasn't her finest, but man, she tapped into that flip, it looked like a waltz jump. I mean, it just, or like a, it was just so easy out of nothing. I was like, dear Lord, is this girl talented at jumping? <laughs> How about my daughter, Daria? It was a show, but with the entrance into double axel and then oh, soft knee It land. was a really nice outing for her because she she struggles sometimes. That was an interesting choice, but I just, you know, that is- It was nice to see her, I feel like, deliver the goods. Oh, yes. Daria so. is becoming- No. Yes, at the village Karna, Kaushayu, Zdorova. Yes, so I think we love it. Okay, I just. Um, but the men, it was about the men for me here. The softness of Koyada, mm. the back, the extent. Little bit nervous on the landing, Professor. Yeah. Calm him down. Yeah, yeah, because the kinds of errors him a he woman made. Before he skates, like, I don't know, but we need to like. Well, you wouldn't have bought an array of a woman before he danced, <laughs> just saying. He's married to a woman, this man, Jonathan. Nureyev? No, he's not a figure skater. I mean, oh, like. <laughs> it's like, wait, one. Um, here's the thing, that free skate is so stunning. And even though that Kolyada's short program is a little cheesy, in my opinion, he does it with such integrity that I buy it. I don't like now, the program. But I, I, like I don't that. either, but he commits to still the position, so it still looks pretty, even though I'm not into putting out a cigarette on the ice, you know. Um, but I was intrigued why Aliyev felt the need to go back to, to the masquerade, in, but in green this time. And why, what is that short program? What is that? What yeah, these, I really like Max Meumov's costume this weekend. It was like, hmm. okay, very straight boy skating, but I like the costume. Maybe I'll get well. Alexis, Alexis' costume was really interesting to me this week in the short because of that heart thing. So she's uh, she basically has like heart 
parts on her. I don't know. It's very interesting. It's very interesting. You know, red and black are my favorite colors. So. So that's all your that's your jam. Now, Dave, ready? I did extra credit. I watched some of the Bergamo competition in Italy happening this week. Oh, weekend. did Leonardo Bramo like write you? No, I, it was it was showing up. Well, he did, and he's always so enjoyable. But um the, it was showing up on my YouTube, like, do you want to watch this next? And so I watched a bit of Matteo Daniel and then How does Matteo look? Gabriel. A little story. tough, a little tough. Um I, I think he'll probably quarantine, but he'll in my unwarranted opinion i think he'll he'll get there he just seemed rushed like it didn't seem like he had settled into what he's doing yet mm -hmm. so i felt like it was kind of hard to assess but daniel is becoming more more watchable for me okay because it used to be tough and it's it's getting better so they kind of have an interesting thing going on with those men yeah it'll be interesting yeah. competition maybe they can each through osmosis Matteo rizzo can skate beautifully on the ice and daniel grossel can look at what he's doing and then Matteo can see the jumps that daniel grossel is doing get angry and whip out some quads i think that's part of the uh um, how this will wrap up yeah because you know that franca used to get her like claws in people that used to be the thing about her i remember when he said that he took from Franca. i was like oh, the things i have heard <laughs> like okay <laughs> Amazing. Like, remember, like Valentina would always be working with Yuka and Jason, but then Franco would be at the boards. Like, I'm right. just I'm afraid of all Italian women like that. So I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they're very passionate. Yeah. Yes. Um, it, well, yeah. Um, Do you have a moment of the week with all this? Oh my god. Um, well. Just can Brian's lifts when Alexa landed the loop throw because it was so big and different with her and Brandon and that's going to be. And the hey, but those jumps looked so much better already here. The landings were so much more solid than they were before. It seemed less um, haphazard, the, the thrust of the throw. Uh, Ilya Malinanen's quads. Kolya Dye's beautiful skating. Um so much happened this week it was I like know, for me it's karen chen love it karen who would have thought it was just like kind of a feel-good moment for me it was really nice i know it was so good yeah brady was not but might not have ever been my the hair event was the most fun tara Kane's, like hips <laughs> like, no you know we have the best hips it's um zach's like slide to the side in the opening of the burlesque i was like okay Oh, I'm going to take his edge class this weekend. My ankle is feeling better. It's on Wednesday at 1130 at the Montclair State Arena. No, you need him to teach you how to move your hips like that. That was- Maybe we can ask him. You know? Yeah, do a hip class. I'll sign up for the hip class. <laughs> Dave, what do you want me to ask Zach? How move hips? Like, how? Oh, oh okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I will, I will ask. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people probably want to know. It's an incredible opening move. Who's coming? Comment if you're coming to the class. I'll put the link in. You can join. <laughs> Hold an edge. It looks sexy, everyone. 